let's make sure this thing works. Okay. The hard drive is like really loud. Holy crap. Listen to that thing. Question mark. Output. This video is brought to you by Deepcool and their Castle 360 EX liquid cooler. Exceptional cooling and performance doesn't have to come at a premium price, and that is exactly what the Castle 360 EX brings with its anti-leak technology, competitive cooling performance, and even the ability to customize the logo on the block. Check the link in the description down below to learn more, and special thanks again to Deepcool for sponsoring today's video. Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I'm here with a, well, interesting vlog. Today starts our journey into building a $200, you heard me right, $200 complete setup, and we're gonna be doing that using uh, Craigslist, Facebook, and uh, also eBay, and we're gonna try to put that together and take you along for the ride. This is probably gonna be a long process, given that it's gonna be really hard to find the deals, but with a little time and patience, which we preach to you guys all the time, it should be very easy to put together something for $200 that could be a complete setup and when I say complete setup that means monitor keyboard mouse and the actual gaming PC all together for $200 do you think we can do it is it a little bit of a stretch well, we're gonna dive into that. Um, I was thinking if I dove onto Craigslist, I would have a lot of problems finding a full setup that we could run with. Um, but actually, I found somebody who's literally selling a full setup on Craigslist for the price that I'm probably gonna be looking for. So this guy has a setup right now that is $200, it is in a relatively decent location, and has an i5-3350, eight gigs of RAM, a 500 gigabyte SSD hard drive, so I'm assuming like an SS hard drive, like one of those solid state hard drives that have like the SSD cache built in, uh, and then also a fresh Windows 10 install with a monitor and keyboard and mouse, and a mouse pad and he's asking $200 for it. It does also say that it comes with a new graphics card. I'm probably going to text the person and see what graphics card exactly, because if this is what I think it is, we may have ourselves a deal already, and we just started this process. Um, I'm gonna reach out to the person. I'm gonna see what's, all, what's going on with it, and if it has a decent setup, then for $200, I think we may have ourselves our setup. You know, this is this is the beauty of Craigslist, right? All right, it's been a day. I have heard nothing back from that person that I texted, and then I decide to just, oh, I don't know, drop onto the link again to see if I can see if the listing's even still there, and it's gone. It's 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 gone, guys. It's it's fuck. It, 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 that is the beauty of Craigslist. All right, it just stuff disappears, and I thought this was gonna be the most perfect set up it was there there for the taking but you know i'm gonna try to do some more hunting today and we'll see what happens from there fingers crossed that something falls into my lap okay guys so it's actually been a few days since i last gave you all an update about the 200 dollars setup and things were going really slowly there weren't a whole lot of leads i could go off of they were kind of slowing down and i wasn't picking up anything that looked like it would be promising until i decided to dive into facebook marketplace i was on facebook marketplace and i found a guy selling a full setup for 150 dollars, he was selling a dell optiplex with an i5 2400 8 gigs of ram and a two terabyte hard drive along with a monitor speakers keyboard and mouse and all of that was going to be 150 bucks which is a good price not the best price i've ever seen but i managed to talk him down to 120 dollars therefore giving me 80 dollars to get a graphics card to put in the system and pretty much completing my full setup for 200 dollars now is it going to be the most spectacular setup no the i5 2400 is still a budget processor and even at its budget price it's going to have some limitations but for this challenge 200 dollars for a complete setup i'm actually very thrilled and i'm I'm going to be meeting the guy in a little under an hour so we'll be taking you all along for the ride to go pick up this setup hopefully uh we don't have any issues you know this is the first time i've done a craigslist thing in a long time uh jackson's normally been the one to do the craigslist listings recently um so we're gonna make sure everything goes over smoothly got the cash in hand and should be good to go all 
All right, guys, so we managed to obtain this full setup. What we have right here is the monitor and keyboard and mouse and speakers, which the speakers were a big thing here because for a full setup, we normally like to go with something that has a headset. Um, we could still get headphones if we wanted to within the budget because we still have $80 after this PC. But here is the PC itself, as I mentioned. As I mentioned, the system is a Dell Optiplex 390. It has eight gigs of RAM, i5 2400, all that basic stuff. The guy said it has Windows 10 on it, ready to go and activated, which is freaking awesome. And if for some reason you got a system like this that wasn't activated, you could always use something like GBG Mall to get it activated. But this thing is ready to go. All we're gonna need to be doing now is honestly taking this thing inside, making sure it all works properly, which I trust the guy. He was actually an IT manager who basically told me that it all was working perfectly fine. He had no issues with it. Um, so really, I'm just gonna plug it up just for sanity's sakes and make sure everything works fine. And then we're gonna be hunting for a graphics card because that's really the last thing we need in order to make this setup, well, the full setup that we want it to be. And uh, that is kind of the whole goal of this is to have this thing play games. And at its current state, it's probably not gonna play games. So let's take this thing inside, power it up, and make sure it works. All right, let's see if she works. And boom, there we go. Let's go and take a look inside this thing also. I'm kind of curious what this thing looks like on the inside. It's actually very clean. Like I give the guy a lot of props. Uh, he did a good job keeping this thing clean. And I like seeing this. Someone selling something on Craigslist that actually looks like it's had some care put into it. Um, the hard drive is like really loud. Holy crap. Listen to that thing. Holy moly, okay, um, we may have something to do here with this hard drive, but holy crap, that thing is chugging. Let's see what kind of setup we're running here. Uh, i5 2400, eight gigs of RAM, the disk space is at 100%, but that's still, listen, to, I'll, I'll be quiet for a second, listen to this hard drive. So we may actually be more motivated to, uh, well, get a SSD in this thing. If this hard drive is gonna sound like that the whole time, that's not gonna be a good one. Regardless, the system is working now and that is the main thing that we wanted. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and dive on Facebook Marketplace again, maybe check up eBay and see exactly what we can get our hands on for a graphics card. Preferably, I don't wanna have to use an adapter because I don't think this thing's gonna have enough wattage to do anything like that. Um, so I'm probably looking at like a 1050 Ti without a power supply, uh, something around that range. If we can get it for 80 bucks, then we have ourselves a finished setup. You know, the real beauty of doing this YouTube thing is the fact that, well, sometimes you get recognized and I was reaching out to people to try to find a graphics card. I found nothing on eBay. I found nothing on Craigslist. I found nothing on Facebook Marketplace. And then I go on OfferUp, which is something I never do and I definitely need to utilize more. There's a lot of cool stuff on OfferUp. And I found a guy selling a 1050 Ti for $80, which a 1050 Ti that does not require an external six pin is actually perfect for this setup. That's exactly what I need. So I reached out to the guy and well, he knew who we were. He knew that we made YouTube videos and I'm not using that as an advantage to get a better deal because he had it originally listed for $80 and I'm taking it for $80, but he did recognize us. So that was kind of cool. So I think we're gonna be meeting up with him tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a drive, but it's worth the drive. And then we're gonna be able to put together this uh, full setup. So very excited to get that graphics card. All right, guys, so Jackson has tagged along now, and we're going to be going to pick up the 1050 Ti from a uh, fan. So if we get kidnapped and this goes on the internet, you know, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, it's only going to go to this part, and that's it. Yeah. That, that's about it. So we're also going to be uh, surprising him with a uh, cooler nice that we have. People. Yeah, we're nice people. Uh, he seems to like PC stuff because obviously he has that 1050 Ti, uh, but we also really wanted to meet up with him and just give him this cooler because it's missing mounting hardware, but you know, if he really wants to get it working, he definitely can. So uh, let's go ahead and head out and get that graphics card. All right, what we get? We have a 1050 Ti that we just picked up and it's kind of interesting. It has a single lane on it which is i have not seen before but you know hey it says 1050 ti on the back there four gigs so we'll assume that it's real and not a knockoff ebay card you know yeah our man adam give us a hook up we'll, we'll find out it works all right guys moment of truth 1050 ti is installed let's make sure this thing works okay power on question mark Output. Yay! Whoa. It works. 
Yeah, we're probably gonna end up replacing that hard drive potentially because it just sounds like it's on its last life. It's probably gonna be slow as heck too. So bad. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's normally the sound of a failing hard drive. So if you hear that in your system, consider upgrading and get something else. So really the only way we can tell that if this is actually a 1050 Ti is to go through and install drivers, which actually we're probably gonna be slapping in a new hard drive for this thing because well, as you could hear, it sounds awful. So we're not gonna go through the whole process of installing drivers and everything on this system yet. We're just gonna go ahead and trust that it is a 1050 Ti, call for a night, come back in and finish this video up. So yeah, see y'all in like two seconds. Does it bump though? When you feel the world is over. Actually, not that bad. When you say you feel alone. Where's the bass drops then? All right, guys, so the first game we're gonna be testing is CSGO. Um, as you can tell, we have the full setup up and running. Jax is gonna be playing some CSGO. Uh, we have the FPS in the top left corner, so keep an eye on that. I'll move it closer once Jackson dives into the gameplay. But, so this is a 1600 by 900 monitor running on high settings. So keep that in mind, some of the performance will actually be quite better than if we were running at standard 1080p. Uh, and Jackson just got knifed. Check out in terms of performance numbers, but as you can tell, we're over 100 and 20 FPS constantly, approaching 200. Um, CSGO is a pretty easy game to run, but this 1050 Ti and i5 combo is actually performing pretty well. Um, there's no clear bottleneck right now, um, and I feel like Jackson's gonna get some kills because he's a pro. You see that, dude? That was a pretty good play. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Hey, he is playing on some uh, less than stellar peripherals right here, but uh, for a keyboard and mouse, it does what it needs to do. It uh, takes key inputs and also uh, clicks, so that's all it needs to do. Okay, Iron. Pop off time. Oh, 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 pop off time. Here we go. Oh. And it's not bad. Right. But yeah, CSGO is definitely more than playable. Let's try a couple of other games real quick. All right, guys, so the next game we're going to be diving into is Fortnite. Right now, we're running at 1600 by 900, which is the resolution of this monitor. And we're running on pro settings. Uh, right now, we're going to queue up for a solo match and see what kind of frame rates we can get and see if I can actually kill somebody because, you know, that's the Fortnite. big part of this game. Fortnite! All right, guys, so right now in the dropship, we are getting around 100-ish FPS. We're going to go ahead and do a hot drop here because, you know, I am a uh, pro player at Fortnite. Um, and we're dropping it right now. And as you can tell from MSI Afterburner, we're actually hitting a CPU bottleneck, which is to be expected with an i5-2400. The uh, 1050 Ti could definitely handle a better processor as we get a good amount of stuttering dropping in. All right, got a gun. See if we can kill somebody. Frame rate is kind of all over the place. We do have the frame rate limiter turned off for that reason. Uh, oh, there's zombies now. I didn't know there's zombies in this game again. Oh my God, I'm like... Ah! Am I gonna get killed by zombies? Zombies are something else. Oh. <laughs> oh God, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Hey, I did it. Oh God. Wow. Yeah, everybody get killed by ah! a zombie. I'm running away, getting the hell out of there. Oh God, who shot me? Okay, well, I managed to kill somebody, so you know, that's a plus. I think it's bright, dude. 
All right, guys, the next game we are testing is Splitgate. Right now we have it on epic settings with everything maxed out um, at 1600 by 900. Um, and we're getting decent frame rates. We had a few stutters here and there at the start. We'll see if that continues. But um, right now it looks like this game is very GPU reliant. So the 1080 Ti is able to stretch its legs a little bit and keep a constant 100 FPS, which is pretty impressive for this setup. Oh, here we go. Oh God, I'm so oh. dead. Beamed from the side, that's fine. I think it's the first time I've ever gotten out of a gunfight in this game. The thing about this game is it's just not, gunfights are not forgiving. No, they're not. It's so hard to tell when you die until you die. Didn't see it coming. Get him. Dude, he dude, done. Dude, dude, dude. Oh my God. Oh, there's multiple. No. Ah, oh, split gate. All right, All right. right. that's split gate. <laughs> so what enough. I'm gonna do real quick is run two more built-in benchmarks, uh, we'll time-lapse that real quick, and then we will wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so as you can tell, this setup actually did really well, and for $200, I'm kind of surprised what we were able to pull off. It's funny because this setup being the cheapest setup is one of our cleanest setups, you know, because it's simple, it's basic, there's not much to it, and it plays games. I mean, what more can you ask for from a gaming setup? Now, keep in mind, it may be harder in your area to pick up a deal like this, but with a little bit of deal hunting, looking on Facebook Marketplace and all the other resources available, you can definitely score a good deal potentially, and this right here is a good example of that. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>